All right, so I wanted to clarify things because I kind of forgot to talk about the less human experience <laughs> side of depression in the last video. I want to talk more about the sciency contributions of it this time. And don't worry, I'm not going to be like, oh, this chemicals, it's composed of... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be like that because I'm not a scientist or anything, so... No professional. <laughs> so my depression is clinical depression or major depressive disorder. And not just the normal, I feel sad sort of depressed. I can tell you it's not just being sad because of having a crappy life or experiences. Although that contributes. But in fact, it's not actually just a state of sadness. It's more so a state of confusion and Sometimes different emotions, and sometimes even no emotion at all. <laughs> it's an actual disorder in the brain. My psychiatrist told me that it's a chemical imbalance in the brain, specifically towards this chemical called serotonin. Serotonin? Serotonin? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's towards that chemical. So it's not just life events or personality or things like that that makes a person clinically depressed. There's also the biological factors, like blood relatives might have contributed to me being depressed. Um, genetics, pretty much. <laughs> she told me that because of the imbalance, there's some neurons or neurotransmitters, something like that. <laughs> that aren't working properly or not communicating properly to produce the balanced amount of chemicals needed for each emotion. And yeah, when I said it's been affecting my life, I meant like since all of these are factors, it's been affecting my social skills, cognitive learning, and stuff like that. I even forgot to talk about my anxiety issues, but I guess that's for another video. So yeah, this is not just me being, Oh, boohoo, I'm sad, life sucks. Because, <laughs> you know, in truth, it really doesn't. And I feel guilty in being depressed because other people have it much worse. But this is a lot more than that. It's a sickness and it's not supposed to be related to who has it worse. I don't really know if this is the right thing to say because it feels really crappy to say it, but I may be one of the crazy people in a way. <laughs> like I said, this is not just me being sad. I can't really get rid of this as much as I really do want to get rid of it. I can't get rid of it like a piece of trash that I can just throw away. And I can't just suck it up or something like that. But like I said last time, I have my meds and I think, although I don't really feel it yet, they help regulate those chemicals you know so i know there's still a chance to get better i guess the right way to think about this is me dealing with my demons um i choose to openly talk about this because it also helps me cope and it's not really my intention to help people by making this video but this may help them by making them feel that they are not alone in dealing with this disorder. So if you have depression, I fucking feel you mate. <laughs> Sorry for the bad word. <laughs> so yeah, I think that clarifies things. Like I said, I'm actually really bad at bringing out my full thought into these videos because, you know, I usually don't talk this long. <laughs> I know I've still missed a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about, but I think this gives at least a small idea of it. And lastly, if you don't like this kind of content, I'm sorry, but it's my channel and I'll choose what to make. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, again, I guess please just bear with me if you don't like this content. More stuff coming soon. And... It's not always gonna be like this. So yeah. <laughs>